Pussy. There's nothing that people love more than robbing the elderly at knife point. But when you're not busy knocking up old ladies for their church money, you could just do some hot tricks and uh, keep yourself entertained here. So this is a kind of a hot trick. I'm gonna be using these hot, hot, hot off the presses Inspire cards here. Uh, just because I thought, wow, why not? You spent money, uh, you're giving Alex Pandrea more alcoholic beverages. So why the fuck not use these cards? So here, here uh, you have a card picked um, and then uh, you twist it on them. You have another card picked. So we're having two cards picked here. What a, what a world, what a time to live in. Uh, so you have uh, both cards uh, lost and shuffled into the deck as best you know. Uh, you're trying to give the impression that you don't uh, know where the uh, cards are here. The spectator and you tell them that uh, we're gonna need something uh, this is one of those uh, sort of tricks where you look around and you're like oh you know what uh, we could use this uh, in this case we're gonna use this um, this uh, yoga book uh, total astanga uh, you know something that you'd find in, in a normal um, in a normal uh, heterosexual household here so we're just gonna use this book as sort of a close-up pad uh, per se um, but believe it or not, if I just, uh, I need to find the right spot for this. Um, but if I just drop the cards, uh, on the book, you'll see something magical will happen. You, you saw it. See one of the cards has turned over upon touching the book. How amazing. What? Are you serious right now? Is this happening? That's real magic. Uh, so that's one card, uh, down. And then the other card, we'll just do it just the same. We'll just drop the deck on the, um, and uh, was that your card? No, uh, was that your card? Uh, we'll try it again. We'll do it until it works. Fuck, we'll be here all day, man. It doesn't matter. Doesn't, nothing matters. Uh, was that your card? No, was that your card? <laughs> One more third, you know, third time's the, tr third, third time. Um, oh, you know, you know what? Sometimes uh, this happens. Sometimes uh, it, it could go all the way through the yoga book and uh, arrive on the bottom. Uh, in this case, that's the um, that's the other card. Twist. The secret. Oh shit! So here's the the secret to this. This actually goes way back. This goes way, way before people uh, did things in their communities. This is uh, an Animan trick from the card magic of Animan. Animan, if you guys don't know, was a, a strange fellow, um, died very early. In the meanwhile, he came up with very, very clever principles in magic and very clever ideas and mental mentalism so uh here we have one of his ideas from the the card magic of of animan uh so that thank you animan i'm sure you're looking up at all of us from your uh, mm. so here's what we do we have two cards picked by someone who has agreed to watch you perform and we're going to control these cards to the top of the deck so the way that i personally control cards to the top of the deck. My personal pronoun preference here is to show the card and then do a, a Charlie air cut with the left hand here. A, char, a Charlie air cut with the left hand here. And then I'm gonna insert this card right here. You, you see, I'm doing this extra slow. For those of you from uh, Brazil that need the uh, extra motivation here, cause Lord knows, fuck. So here the card is in jogged. I'm gonna push it in very fairly. But you see what I'm doing? I'm putting downward pressure, which is gonna make that a break uh, appear magically. Once I insert my thumb all the way, you see how the break appears magically? Now I could just cut half of that to the top and then cut the other half to the top. And guess what? The, the card, the, it's on top. So we're gonna do the same with the next card here. 
you know, inserting it very fairly into the deck, maybe doing a little riffle, of course, keeping a break and controlling that card. Guess what? Right to the top. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Now, the original way as written up on the book involves doing exactly what I did in performance here, which is you're showing the magazine, you're showing the book here. Now, at some point, you're just going to reach in underneath here and you're going to deal this card off into your right hand as you're flexing the book and showing it. So this is just an offbeat moment. You're not making a move out of this. You're, you're not saying, hey guys, look, here's the book. You're, you're just doing this on the offbeat. You're talking about the book. You're talking about the, uh, the power of uh, the par, Parva so Sagana. Uh, you're talking about the power of that in terms of um, being able to uh, have sex with yourself, um, apparently. And then as that's happening, you just casually deal the card onto your hand as you're flexing the book and again, not making a movement out of it and sneaking the first card below the, the, the book here. So you could just drop it and you're, you're good to go. Just drop it on the floor and you're good to go. Another method, which is something that I first saw an expert card technique, look at the crediting here, is you're controlling the card to the bottom instead. And this time you're sneaking it underneath this way. So what's happening is that you're gonna put pressure with these fingers and that's how the card is gonna go underneath. You, you see this ingenuity here? So as you're showing the book, uh, that card is just being snuck underneath because of this lovely move here. That's from Expert Card Technique. I prefer the easy, um, easy uh, Monica Lewinsky method of just putting it on the bottom here as you're flexing the book and then dropping it and then saying that you did not have sexual relations with that woman. So that's, that's pretty much it. And once you have that card snuck underneath, you have the next card on top. You're gonna do this, this classic uh, Boy Scout trick in every magic book uh, ever known, which is as you, throw the cards at the box, what's gonna happen is you're, you, you're gonna use your thumb to push this card towards the right so that when the card drops, it's gonna either launch itself in one direction or it's gonna flip. I personally am not one of these people that cares too much about having the card land perfectly on top of the deck, but if you do it with enough, enough angst, the card is gonna land face up on top of the deck and look like some sort of miracle transpired. Uh, the, again, this is not really a practice move. It's just that you do it and whatever happens, you, you go with it. Uh, that's, that's kind of the point here. This is not one of these clever, hey guys, let's sit around and watch Uncle Pig here do a, a card set. This is, oh, hey, I'm gonna throw a deck at a magazine and let's see, hopefully something magical happens. So that's the first, uh, the first reveal there, um, the, the first hot reveal there. Then afterwards, you're gonna take the deck and drop it on the book the same, but this time you're not gonna do any sneaky moves. So whatever happens, if the deck happens to bounce up and cut to itself, you ask him, is that your card? No. Uh, well, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes it goes under the book and penetrates the, and you show them the, the other card. And at that point, if they're not spontaneously erupting seminal fluids all over the table, you've done uh, you've done it wrong. So that's a, just a quick hot trick here you could do with pretty much any deck, any magazine, any book of uh, this, of, of that length. And you could use that to be the life of the party. Fuck. I, I'm going to go uh, practice my yoga technique so that one day I too could complete auto fellatio. Shine, 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 shine.